guys, this is Pink from Cookie Jar Security. Um, and we're going to cover this hollow site here. It's a replica EOTech. Uh, so let's start with the pretty simple stuff. What, what an EOTech, the real EOTech is, because it's the easiest way to basically review this. Um, so this is a, EOTech is something that was designed as a site to use where no matter how you approach the site, you never have to approach it the same way. No matter where you're looking at it from, the site's always going to hit on target and there's no parallax. Um, now, this is Wonder Bread's. Um, it has a pretty simple screw on feature here. You just take a screwdriver, put it in there and turn, and you can move it all up and down the top rail system. Um, here is how you change the batteries, just real quick. This is how you do this, and you just pull like that. And this part's actually a plastic, like a rubberized plastic. That back in there real quick. And then just latch it back down. Now, according to Wonder Bread, these sights actually came with the, uh, the, the flips covers here, came with the gun, or the sight, which is good. Uh, that's actually a plus. Here on the back side, there's three buttons. Simple right here, the one, the middle one, the, the, the middle button, which is round, it's circle, and it has the letters NG, NV on it. Um, what this one, this button here does is it turns the reticle from red to green. Turn this on. Turns the reticle from red to green. So right now it's on red and now it's on green. I'm not sure if you can see it. And then up here is a down arrow. And this will decrease the brightness of the um, reticle. And then the up arrow, if you were to push it or hold it, even increases it. And um, on this side here is how you adjust it. This knob here is for, what is that knob for? This is for windage for left and right, and this is for elevation up and down. Once you find the zero, you never have to change it really. I have one of these myself, um, and it holds a good, it holds a solid zero. Here on the side, it says for military and law enforcement use only. Um, don't think that's what we're using it for. Yeah. So right there is it's red. And now you probably see a little ghost, and what ghost is is a ring around the actual ring. That's just due to the camera. It's not the actual um, reticle. And then right there, it should be green now. And uh, so, yeah, that's all you can really say about the site. There's not much to it. It's a pretty simple device, but I run one on my gun, and it's good because I can approach it like this if I need to, way up here, way back here, whatever. And it just gives me a faster target acquisition. Real quick, to turn it on, to turn the sight on, you just push any one of the, you either push the up or down arrow, and then to turn it off, you push both up and down arrows at the same time. Should I turn it off? Yeah, that's all. And so, that's it with the sight. Anything else? Nah. How much did it cost you? Uh, I believe it was like 50 like 50 bucks he says I don't know uh, if I were to rate this I would rate it I give it a 5 out of 5 I ruined one of mine and it works great I have no regrets buying it so yeah I'd give it a 5 out of 5 a little last Wonder Bread with you thanks later five out of five. and Wonder Bread just said 5 out of 5 so this has been Pink from Cookie Jar Security and uh yeah subscribe like and comment so, running out of things to say and I'm just going to stop rambling so yeah, this has been Pink from Cookie Dress Cutie and uh, just stay tuned for the next video